I didn't think we'd make it out of that meeting alive. You were brilliant. Mm. Cheers. Well, you gave me some good ammo to work with. I think the architects will calm down now. We're ahead on the Spire project. Mm. And I think I know a way to get in good with Alan. <sighs> that just doesn't sound like a good destination to me. I like it where we're at right now. A little relaxation, a little dinner. How about a little recon? Of what? Well, there's still daylight out. We've got the camera in the car. Why don't we go over to the lighthouse and just, you know, take a look, you know, do a preliminary survey. Uh, why would we want to do that? Well, it's Alan's pet project, this lighthouse restoration. You know, we could get ahead of schedule. We could have some fun. I, I get it. I see. Yeah, a, a nice romantic a February evening out on a lake shore, nice and cold, looking at a crumbling lighthouse. That sounds like a good time. Hmm. All right, come on, drink up. Wait, wait, excuse me. Have I not yet mentioned how comfortable I am in this nice warm bar looking at my gorgeous wife? Oh, yes, huh? well, your gorgeous wife is on a mission, so if you want to be with her, you got to suit up and come along. You actually want to go out on this cold night as a favor to Alan Spaulding? No, this is not for Alan Spaulding. This is for Lewis Construction, and you agreed to it, remember? It's good publicity. You are going to be known as the man who helped save a historic landmark. I could be that man tomorrow. Have you seen our schedule for tomorrow? Come on, look at it this way. We'll do the survey, we'll get the work done, and Alan will be out of our hair. Okay, okay, okay. You know, a Alan has always been in my hair. Josh, if, if the place hadn't been semi-abandoned and run down, the thugs who, who kidnapped Mar wouldn't have felt safe hiding her there. So if, for no other reason, let's do it for her. Look, look, I'm drinking up. Oh, very nice. Let's go. Your brother's right. Look at this. Groundwater's eroding the base. Rainfall's causing runoff erosion up top. This building is a mess. You know, whenever I think of Sam climbing this thing with his fingertips, I just... Yeah, I know. So the only thing worse is thinking about Mara being tied up there. It's freezing cold tonight. It had to be at least this cold last month. Josh. Or it gets cold pretty easily. Hey, you know what? Why don't we concentrate on fixing this thing up so it doesn't happen again? Okay. I'm just thankful she's come to her senses about Tony Santos. Whew. Well, this is supposed to be locked. Who's that? Is it broken? I guess the card guard was kind of careless. We'll have to call somebody about that tomorrow. Then. Not lucky for us. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was from above. <laughs> Josh Lewis. Uh, the transfer box that we're supposed to arrive around 5 o'clock or so. They know we're working overtime. Well, where's the supervisor? Okay, I'll, I'll be there as quick as I can. They uh, need me over at the Spalding Spires project. Why? Something to do with the wiring in the lobby. It shouldn't take me too long to track down the supplier, though. Are you going to... You okay? Or what do you want well, to do? I'll you go. Wanna... I'll go inside and take some pictures and come back and get me. You're going to be all right here by yourself. I'm fine. I got sure. myself over with me if there's a problem. Okay. Okay. All right. Be back in a bit. Bye. to do with my time. Then why are you here with a camera and everything? Working. Lewis Construction is working on the lighthouse restoration. I'm doing a survey. I had no idea you'd be here. So, I have a picture to prove it. Oh, gosh, we're so dead. Oh. Okay, Lydia, I know that I haven't always been nice to you. Okay, horrible. 
been horrible. But my dad doesn't need to know about this, because if he does, forget being grounded, I'll be shot. You'll live, Mara. Oh, you'll live. So does that mean that you're not going to tell him? Because you really don't need to. Um, because Tony and I were just... We were just hanging out. Right. And what's so terrible with that? Oh, I wish I hadn't found the two of you like this. I really wish I hadn't. But I did. And no, it's not such a bad thing. In fact, it could turn out to be a very happy coincidence. Huh. You're not angry. Uh, no, not particularly. That's great, you know, because I know we put you in a tough spot here. You don't want to lie to your hobby about Mara again. I just put you behind the eight ball. Tony, I, you're making this worse. I'm trying to make a point here. Which is? Which is you've only heard half the story, Josh. And let's face it, he hates me. No, he hates you and Mara together. Yeah, just as much as I love it. You know, I know what people think of me, that I'm some wise guy punk from Chicago, a high school dropout who thinks he's the sharpest thing going, right? Close enough. Well, that was me before I met Mara. Before I met Mara, I was, I was out of nowhere. Now, you know what? I'm wrong. I was going to jail, or I would have ended up in a morgue somewhere. But then this beautiful woman walked through the door, and everything's changed. Now, now I have a future. Now... So many good things are happening. Because, because of Mara. You know, she's a girl that I've, I've never met before. So is lying to her family. No. Is that all, is all, all a part of the good things that are happening? I hate that she has to do that. The last thing I want is for Mara to get in trouble. You mean more trouble? Look, we came here today because we thought this was the last place that anybody would find us. But okay, you found us. We're here. Hmm. And you see what's going on. Everything's cool. We're not drinking, doing drugs, having sex, or, or even devil worshiping or anything like that. All we want to do is be together. That's sweet. It's sweet. But you know what? If you think it's that simple, you're not so sharp after all. Pathetic. I do, but if the two of you think you can be alone together and do a little kissing and a little dancing and keep it at that, you need to take a look at this picture I took. Come on, it's not like it's X-rated or anything. That's the letter that comes to mind. Nothing was going to happen. <laughs> do the math, Mara. Teenage girl plus older teenage boy minus anyone else around times minutes spent kissing equals enough heat to trigger a spontaneous combustion. We can handle it. Yeah, for a while. And then there's that one time when your brakes fail and you just go through all the oh, stop you, signs. You sure have a lot of ways of making your point, don't you? Well, you're don't making you. my point for me, aren't you? Your anger, your frustration, these are all part of the feelings that make this so dangerous for both of you. Come on, it's hormones, it's passion. We're in love. I have nothing against that. God knows love has turned my life around. Look what it's doing to yours, Mara. Look, you're lying to Josh and Reva. You nearly trashed my wedding with your trip to the Rex Motel. You, you got kidnapped? Have you learned anything from all that? No, you're coming up with excuses to leave the house and sneak off with Tony. Yeah, it's romantic. It's also kind of stupid. You, you don't know what we mean to each Tony, other. Tony, wait. She has a point. I'm sorry that we dragged you into all of this. You don't have to apologize to me, okay? It's kind of a waste of time. What? How many times have you said you're sorry about something and then turned around and done it again? This was not on purpose. I'm not so sure about that. You like to be the center of attention, and you know something? That's your business. Except when it creates a crisis that only the parental team of Reva and Josh can solve. That's where I draw the line. I'm tired of the drama, Mara. It stirs your father up for no good reason, and I just as soon spare him any unnecessary angst. See, I'm in love, too. So, does that mean that you're not gonna tell him or show him the picture? <sighs> he has enough to worry about right now. <sighs> Thank you so much. I owe you big time. Yes, you do. And you know what? You can start paying me back right now.